So, we're going to talk a little bit about what in physics we call an inverse R squared relation or an inverse square law. And this is a very common thing in physics. If you've had any of a physics course so far, you've probably run into it. Gravity is what we call an inverse square law. The relationship between the force between two charges and their distance is an inverse square law. It's called Coulomb's law. Uh, you also run into it when we talk about waves and things coming from a source and how many you have. An inverse square law. And I want to make the point that this is just a geometric result of the fact that we live in three dimensions. And it's a relatively simple thing. So I have this prop, a little spray bottle of water and a slightly chalky chalkboard. And I'll go some distance out from the chalkboard and I'll get a shot of uh, my water. And it makes a spot. A spot about this big. Up here, I'll go eh, twice as far. And I need to spray a lot more before I can make the spot so visible. Let's spot about that big. I went twice as far. What's going on? As I said, geometry. The spray bottle fixes the angle it sprays at. So when I make a small spot, spraying something like that. When I make the big spot, it's the same angle, but it's twice as far away, so it gets bigger. How much bigger? Well, the height from twice as far away, twice as tall. The width from twice as far away, twice as wide. One factor of something proportional to the distance in height and one in width. That means that the size of this spot gets bigger as the distance gets bigger, and it gets bigger as the square of distance. Now, I had to spray more here because as the size got bigger in area, I was spreading out all those little droplets. Each one was further apart from the one next to it. The amount of water I put in a given area fell off, decreased as 1 over distance squared. It is an inverse square law. That's physics.